So the paper boy thinks I've made too many papers on this lot and he's not delivering until I clean it up. But I think that's a bit snooty for someone who works as a paper boy. He's hardly like, like no, the king of the universe, is he? Anyway, I believe tonight it will be Bert's birthday. Girl Bert. So we're going to see her grow up into a teenager. And then tomorrow night will be the birthday for all the other Berts. So maybe that'll be in this video, I'm not sure. My videos generally cover about two sim days, I think. In or around. We'll see. It's mentally. Oh, that's not writing. He's just pretending to write but playing computer games on a blank screen. Maybe he's playing some game designed for blind people. Imagine there's a market for that. I mean. If you could do text-based adventures that kind of read the text out to you. But I've heard of blind people playing MMOs like World of Warcraft and stuff. I think they can set their character to follow a different character or something. So it's almost like they have some sort of guide dog in-game. Well, guide person. Did someone make a pie? A ni very nice quality pie. Let's have some pie. still have one more trait to get for all these teenagers. That'll be interesting. It could completely change my mind about Bert. At the moment he's in the lead. Who knows though. Uh, everyone's on their way home. Except for this, except for Bort. Bort never comes home with the rest. He has to get a taxi. I think he's too classy for them. Like, I won't ride on the bus. Oh my god, have these guys been doing their homework, actually? I don't remember telling them to do their homework at all. They probably should. He's doing his homework, trying to ignore the floating juice carton. It's like, go away, ghosts, I'm busy. ghost is just frustrated. Like, why aren't you scared of me? It's all I've got. Now I'm dead. It's like, it's not my fault you're dead. He's like, it is. You drowned me in a swimming pool by building a wall around it. Um, you know. that. Uh, oh, wait. Did I just turn away a call from his girlfriend? Oops. Um, no. Call her back. Have a chat. You're going to be married in a couple of days, so might as well keep her on good terms. She's still a teenager. How can we age her up? Uh, I'll probably have to wait for her to grow up. Ugh. I know. The inconvenience of not being able to marry a teenager. <laughs> if it was up to me, I'd marry them all off when they were toddlers. It would just save time later on. Because they've got a few days when they're toddlers and, you know, they can't do anything. They've learned all their skills. One place where the third world has the right idea. <laughs> well, obviously not in real life. For, only for the Sims. I just felt I kind of had to specify that. Which bet is his? Oh, I think this one. It looked like all the beds were coming up with someone else's name, and we're like, what? He has to sleep somewhere. It's like he's really tired, but he can't get into his bed, so he thinks, oh, I'll go trampoline instead. That'll energize me for tomorrow. I'll get loads done. 
Oh, you haven't done your homework yet. Oh, she doesn't need to do her homework. She's going to grow up in a couple of hours. It's fine. Hectic sim house. Oh no, the laptop's broken. Yeah, it'd be suicide to try and fix it without mechanical points. Because it's not, in The Sims, it's not just dangerous to the laptop. They'll probably die somehow. <laughs> uh, who can fix that? Who's got the energy and the drive? And, um, everyone's in bed. Um, maybe Hillary can. That's her name, isn't it? Hillary, yes. I'm sure she can repair it. Oh, the door's locked. Um... I do have that new laptop that that person posted me. Hmm, maybe we can uh, just replace it. I'll see what happens here anyway. Does she have? Oh, she doesn't have handiness points either. Ah, oh, she's old. She's had a good life. We'll see what this does to her. It worked. Awesome. Somehow it worked. Now I can lock that door again. The lock doesn't seem to keep ghosts out, unfortunately. They can just walk straight through the door. Why are you up? Come on. School. It's a school night. Oh, birthday time. Oh my god, if the sim store items come back into... No, they're okay. They're, go they're not here. They're really pushing the sim store. I don't like it. I don't like feeling like I've been pressure sailed. Um, birthday cake, yeah. I think it's just really not on putting so many ads in the game that I've paid for. For additional content for the game. I don't know. When they eventually do The Sims 4, and I have a feeling they're going to do it quite soon, I would kind of hope that they do away with that, all that stuff. I'd like, you know, the original Maxis team to come back and make it, because I think they pay much better attention to detail than EA. But, you know, I, d I don't realistically think that'll happen. Apparently Maxis are making the new Sim City game though. Maybe there's hope. Come on, just throw up. It's like blowing out her candles took longer than all of her childhood added together. Yeah, what'll be Bert's new trait? Isn't that prompting me for one? She doesn't get why does she ha She has four traits already. I don't know how that is. Oh, did she not grow up happy enough? No, it doesn't say anything. She must have just got one automatically. Weird. Oh, wait. Yeah, eat, eat some cake. God, Bort is going to be tired. Oh! He bloody puts down his cake to complain that he's hungry. I don't get this. It's, I think it's these ghosts. That's who I'm blaming. I don't want to sound like a ghostist, but I think it's time for these ghosts to get out. Go back to the afterlife. Cure board. They seem a lot more frequent these days as well. Like, I don't remember there being this many ghosts last time. Maybe it's the latest patch. 
I suppose the latest patch was probably released for Supernatural and made all these things much more frequent. Yeah, I'll just have to deal with it. I suppose by tonight the house will be a lot emptier because Bert will come of age and I can kick out his brothers. No, no one go to bed. School bus is due. There we go. Everyone, school. Move, move, move. Oh my god, is she not going to school? Oh, she's got the day off. Why, why does Bert get a day off? <laughs> That's funny, she looks a bit like, um... Whatchamacallit, that girl who played Hit Girl. As she was when she was in Dark Shadows. Looking a little bit out of it. And heavy eyelided. That's what Bert looks like. Ghosts are still here. They're just here twenty four seven now. They used to disappear during the day. They're they're just still here, wandering about. And they're celebrity ghosts, so I can't ask them to leave or anything because they're better than us for some reason. Even though they're dead, if they were that great, they'd still be alive. This house has gotten so buggy and crowded. I'm, I'm looking forward to being able to start a new sim family someday. Or move someone out after this legacy challenge ends. Oh, that would be nice. Oh, it's not too long till Bentley ages up as well. He's only becoming an adult from young adult, though. Oh, everyone in this house lives for so long these days. It's just going to be full of elders. This final house will just be like a retirement home. It's like one big condensed metaphor for Western civilization where people are living longer and longer and, um, you know, there's less and less resources. Populations are aging. Going to have to extend the retirement age and stuff. That was the wrong bed, wasn't it? These guys don't have to do their homework. They don't need no education. They're growing up tonight. I'll just put them to bed until then though. It's just easier that way. And what can I do in the meantime? Um, Horse, where are you? Run around for me, for my amusement. No? Oh, not even the horse is listening to me anymore. He looks dangerously close to falling into that pool. He shouldn't whinny like that. So close to the edge. Oh, he got 23 days left until he's old. 
Wow. Actually, in the video I uploaded, like, as late as yesterday, the horse is still, like, a baby. So, that's funny. I could sort of nostalgia at the videos I'm uploading. There's such a backlog. Like, ah, I remember them. The olden days. Back before... The town was invaded by space mutants. No, that didn't happen. Oh, of course it didn't happen. Because you've seen all the progress up until now. Oh, but it could have happened since now. But I wouldn't know. Okay, I'm even confusing myself with this. I'm going to stop all this time, timey-wimey talk. When will this book be finished? I just want the money from it. Her eyes glow in the dark. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> well, it's more of a witch noise than a vampire fire noise, actually. Vampire no noise. It's like my stereotypical jokey Irish accent coming through. I'm just barely fighting it off all the time. Descending into la di da fiddle tee tee, where's me lucky charms? Da da da, hoopity. And doing river dance all over the place. It's funny how river people think of river dance as a traditional Irish thing, because I think it was invented in like the 1990s. And it's just like one show that was quite popular. And I think that like Michael Flatley, the guy who does it, is American anyway. Um, he might claim to be Irish. He might be one of these Irish Americans, you know, the fake Irish people. But um, no, he's he sounds American. Okay, let's grow everyone up. Actually, I should queue up the cakes. That'll probably save me time. I'm going to need three of them anyway. Bort, you first. Everybody, it's Bort's birthday. Yo, get over here. Look at this guy. He's going to grow up. Blink and you'll miss it. Bort is a classy looking guy. Let's see what he grows up into. To be honest, I Bort I'm tempted to make Bort the heir. It's just I think Bert is a little uh cooler. What's his new trait? Daredevil. Quite good. Okay. Bert. Why do I hear the buy mode music in the background? Very faintly. Oh, what's Bort's thing? He can be an interior designer. Come on, Bert. Is it from the stereo? Oh, it is. Oh, it's not. I think my game's just glitched. Uh oh. That uh, hopefully won't break anything. Bert, what are you going to grow up into? Come on, while we're young. This is the most ghosty birthday party ever. Oh, cool. Hot-headed, okay. I forget what one Bort got again. Alright. Let's see what your everyday clothes are. Uh, oh, right. Um, change into your everyday clothes, young man. Bert. Change into your everyday clothes. I want to see what they look like. Why is he ignoring me? He 
He's just ignoring me. Why why do I have to do this so many times? What? I don't care if you're hungry, just change your outfit. Change into your everyday outfit. Come on. Ignore the ghost. Ignore the ghost, Bert. Just change your outfit. Change your outfit. Change your outfit. There. Okay, it's dull. He's definitely not the heir. I don't like him at all. He just doesn't listen. Okay. Now it's Bert's turn. If he gets a terrible trait, then Bort is taken over. So we'll see what he... what he gets. I love the vampire age up thing where bats fly out. From. Where did those bats come from? That's his new trait. Dramatic. I like dramatic. That's a pretty cool outfit. Oh, behold. Bert Schmooze, the new head of this household. Oh, and I forgot his career. Um, physical perfection. I think he already has that. Easiest lifetime wish achievement ever. Wow. I should make more vampires. 